Okay, so now let's have a look at the testing sequence. Firstly, note the test sequence given in chapter 61 requires the initial tests listed to be carried out before the supply is connected. And remember, during the inspection, the inspector should try to identify the furthest point of each circuit for subsequent test purposes. The power off tests demonstrated include test one, which verifies the continuity of protective conductors and main and supplementary equipotential bonding. Test 2, which verifies the continuity of ring final circuit conductors. Test 3 tests that the insulation resistance is satisfactory. And test 4, which verifies that there is correct polarity at the single pole protective and switching devices and at all socket outlets. The power on tests will include test 5 to determine earth fault loop impedances, test 6 to verify the effectiveness of additional protection provided by residual current devices, test 7 to determine the prospective fault current, and test 8 to check on phase sequence. Now, after completion of each test, the measurement should be recorded in the relevant column of the schedule of test results. A model schedule of test results is given in Appendix 6 of BS7671. The inspector will then need to use his or her knowledge to compare the results obtained against certain criteria given in BS7671 to verify that the outcome is satisfactory. Now, please note, there are also other IET publications that can be used for these purposes, such as the IET on-site guide. Okay, so now go and watch the next video in the series, titled Continuity of Protective Conductors.